Yo, what up? It's Thursday, March 7th. Tomorrow, the politician comes out. It's gonna happen in Hawks Bay, and this is gonna be a discovery run video, even though Hawks Bay is kind of small, but I figure it's worth it to, um, to get back into this level again, and learn the ins and outs. Um, tomorrow, when I play this, I won't have a lot of time because I have to go and help my friend move. So we're gonna try to just learn this as well as we can. Now, somebody has leaked a briefing video on YouTube. There's no guarantee that it's gonna be final, but we're gonna go ahead and watch it anyway. So here we go. Good evening, 47. Your target is Dame Barbara Elizabeth Keating, a New Zealand tycoon and the former Minister of Trade and Foreign Affairs. She was forced to resign from her position when a charity she represented was accused of funneling donations towards the Dame's own offshore portfolio. Dame Barbara drew on contacts in the tabloids to shift the blame onto the charity's director, Jacqueline Vicker, destroying her reputation and ensuring that Vicker's death shortly thereafter was perceived as a suicide. Dame Barbara is now embarking on a PR tour to restore her standing, and we believe she's working with a body double in order to protect herself at public events. Needless to say, the contract only applies to the real Dame Barbara. Good luck, 47. Okay, so let's get back into the game. All right, um, as you can see, even from the picture alone, she's gonna have some kind of body double. So we're gonna try to find a way to distinguish distinguish between them if we can. Um, although, I guess, just looking at this picture, I can't really see any differences. I'm sure they will mention something when the time comes. Um, aside from that, yeah, I mean, we can go and find the location where she was standing in the video, but there's no guarantee, uh, as we know just from history now, the past couple of Lucid Targets, there's no guarantee that they will be where they're depicted in the video. Uh, but nonetheless, we'll take a note of it. So here we are in Hawks Bay Night Call, um, I've already unlocked all of these, so just to save time, we will go ahead and start in the office. Um, let's have, I have a feeling the lockpick will be useful. Uh, coin, silver baller. Okay, and then these are our two options in terms of smuggle points. Um, this is the one that's obviously closer to the main house, so we'll go ahead and pick that. Um, I have no idea how this level is going to look when the time comes for the actual elusive target because this is, in a sense, the most um, unique uh, level, I would say, in that it's so scripted, which makes it stand out from the rest of the levels. Um, those of you who, who have played this already, you'll know that the level basically has no NPCs in it up until a certain point. Once you activate the computer, then the NPCs appear, and then it becomes like a regular level. So all of those rules will go out the window when the elusive target comes. Um, we're not going to know where we're going to be able to start the level. We're not going to know where we're going to exit the level. So um, all of that's like a big question mark. So let's see. Trying to remember where this thing is. Okay. All right. So I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, just get to the pickup. Okay. So it's weird. Strangely enough, you have to unlock the door, even from the inside, but the pickup point is going to be here, and yeah. Alright, so... The rest of the level 
is in the other direction that way. Right, because, okay, so the regular start point is going to be to the east. So the pickup point is going to be on the western edge of the house. It's a camera there. I guess Good we might day. as well. Now, <laughs> according to the local home security provider, the house is equipped with multiple cameras yeah, okay, placed yeah. around the perimeter. I suggest you get rid of them 47. We're going to just take note of all the camera positions. Second one there. Third one here. Fourth one is near the garage door. These doors are going to be locked from the outside. We know that for sure. So it's locked no matter which way you're trying to approach it. Um, right. So I wonder where we're going to start, right? So like, one possibility is we start where the, no where the level normally starts. Um, could we start like somewhere around here? So no. it's possible. So that's why I think I think having the lockpick is a good idea, because then that will allow you to enter the house from several locations, such as here, or we can enter from here. See, this door is locked, but with the lockpick, we should be fine. An alternative is the breaching charge, which is why I brought it, but you can only use it once. Um, screwdriver is going to be here, so just keep that in mind. The main entrance of the house is another entryway. Right, so that's over here. Um, no, there's no window that you can just climb into. That would be too easy. Okay, so this is how you're supposed to get in in story mode. You would use a screwdriver here. So that's still an option because we can always pick up the screwdriver by the pool. But it looks like with a lock pick we can also just pick this directly. Bodies. Male and female. Early 30s. Executed. I see them. Poor bastards. Looks like Reynard's grisly handiwork, all right. She was never shy about collateral damage. The owners? Don't think so. The house is registered to a non existing environmental NGO. This feels more like identity theft. Hmm. Like you, Reynard is known to use disguises. Hmm. Keep looking, 47. Nothing we can do for these people now. Probably the most notable thing in this room is this chloroform flask, which is found inside the, the vehicle here. Aside from that, um, this garage, this is kind of like the boiler room type of thing. We've got one box here. Okay, nice. There's a propane flask. You can also open up this thing. Yeah, we're definitely going to take the lockpick. There's too much stuff that you can take with it. Um, knife. The gun is highlighted, but I can't pick it up. Right? This is... Right, we were here earlier. This is the pickup. And there's rat poison here. There are some, yeah, some cans. Cans are great. You can chuck them at people. Okay, so this... Interesting. So this leads upstairs. 
Right, it's like one of these stairways I never really take. Okay, so this is going to be the second floor, right? We'll keep this in mind. Yeah, then the main area connects to the pool. Main entrance. So I think that one thing that will be helpful is to close the curtains. Because uh, there's going to be patrolling guards outside. Um... Turn this off. Okay, so the only other. Okay, so this is the pool, main area, boiler room, garage. Only other notable area on this floor is this bathroom thing here. So, bathroom. Unfortunately, no place to store any bodies, but you can get a pair of scissors, more rat poison, and then over here. Again, you can shut the window blinds. I'll call this, uh, like, like a lounge or something. Uh, Kiora, uh, Ari from Kiwi Repair here. Apple. Okay, here's a here's a box, a closet, so that's good. Okay, so So all in all that looks like two boxes. Oh three actually. The garage has this this thing. As well as a bench. So in other words, first floor has three containers where I can put bodies. That's up to six people, in other words. Going up to the second floor. How many ways can I get there? Looks like... Uh, one is inside the house. Right. Two is this thing that we found earlier. And three, um, so it's listed here on the map, but as far as I know, it only works in one direction. It's basically, it's a stairway that connects to the safe room that's on the second floor. You can exit out of the safe room, come down those stairs, and then exit out here. So you can see uh, the, the floor has a break in the molding, right? But I don't know of a way to enter it in this direction. Maybe there is one, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. So, yeah, there's only really two ways to go up. Three ways to come down. Um, additionally, you can just jump down, I believe. So, for example, okay, there's more window blinds here. But, um, yeah, so say you're on the second floor. This is the second floor, right? Over here, I think you can just drop down. So there's a lot more flexibility being up here. Drop down anywhere here. Here you can drop down. Okay. Will it will it be like jumping down or can I hang? Let's see. It'll be jumping down. I cannot hang. Okay, um, just going back upstairs. Alright, so let's start by, okay, here's another door that goes outside. It's good to know. So two doors so far that go outside. And we'll start with the bedroom. 
So the bedroom is this area right here. We'll just note that they have this like walk-in closet and bathroom as well. I could store two bodies inside this closet. And another two bodies inside the bathroom closet. Okay. There's also a window that leads outside. We'll just take note of that. Right. We came out here earlier, right? Another bathroom cabinet type of thing. This one has lethal poison in it, which is useful. Cannabis joint. Interesting. Um, don't remember if mirrors crack when you shoot them. Like, I wonder if people can still see you, see your reflection. Uh, but anyway, so this is the bedroom. Okay, there's like a thing, a box here. Another door that leads outside. Close these blinds too. Awesome. And then this door. Okay, so we kind of understand this whole area now. Right, these are the two doors that go outside. Then closet, bathroom. There are windows uh, here and here that also go outside. I think there might be some windows down here as well. Well, let's open the blinds and find out. Okay, so there's no windows here that you can climb through, but you can still just get there through through this doorway. Okay, so the other feature of upstairs is going to be the panic room. Um, but first, let's check out this outdoor area here. So here is where I said we could jump down earlier, right? This goes upstairs. We'll check that out later. Come around this way. There's a door here. Right. Another box in this hallway. So I believe that's four boxes on this floor. Um, so here we are. It's like a little gym here. Panic room is going to be inside here. Just interact with this to open it. This is going to be where the camera box is. Nicely done, 47. Getting caught on tape is the last thing we need. Okay, so there is a lockpick in this level. Here we go. For the office computer, no doubt. So I'm not going to know ahead of time whether it's still going to be here in this level or not. If I knew that it was going to be here, maybe I wouldn't bring the lockpick. Or I, I still would if I wanted to use it to get inside. Who knows? Um, you know, some interesting things we can use to kill our target. This will be interesting as well. The dark gun. Two frag grenades, pistols. Great. And then this is the stairway to get back down to the garage. Okay, interesting. Bust. All right. Okay, so to get further upstairs, we have to be on the west side. And we can take this set of stairs. But before we do that, I want to just test something with these railings. Okay. You can vault down, but you can't just hang. So that's good to know. Uh, 
Alright, so from here to go upstairs, we have to go out this way and up these stairs. This is the only set of stairs that will get you up to the roof. From the roof, uh, you can jump down to that level pretty much anywhere here. Yeah, anywhere here you can jump down. Obviously here you can't because that would be too high. But uh, there's plenty of stuff you can hide behind. Um, what else? The two things you can interact with. Um, ventilation for the panic room, so you can poison it. Right, because that's directly above the panic room. Yeah, that's the door to the panic room. As well as the bathroom, I believe. Right here. Because we are right on top of the bathroom. Okay, so obviously we can also see it through the window, which means we can take shots. We can take shots through to the computer room as well. This thing, you can't interact with it, but after a couple shots, you can break it and drop down. Oh, a little bit of lag there. Okay, cool. So good to know. You can drop down through here. Uh, okay, so I think that's all we really need to know about in terms of inside the house. In terms of outside, that's gonna be this whole area that you see right here. Um, not much to really memorizing this layout. just basically hide in any of these like bushy areas as long as you're crouching um, the only noteworthy landmark I think is this beach house no not beach house a shack This is a potential place where you can hide an item, or pick a point. Uh, you can go down to the beach where I think you'll be mostly hidden from any activity up there. But there's likely to be guards down here as well. Uh, should be quite a bit of like driftwood lying around somewhere if you need like an item to pick up and chuck at people can't really find it right now. It's like sort of around here somewhere. Um, and then that's the boat. So I don't know if that boat is still going to be there in the elusive target, but for this level, that's where you start and that's where you end. Oh, of course. Um, so one last thing. Okay, so this is the distance that we're talking about, right? So one last thing is... You don't see it right now, but after the guards come, when I trigger that computer, there's going to be uh, like a truck or something. I'm not sure where exactly it is. We can find out in a second, but it's supposed to be like around here somewhere. And they have um, some explosive flares in the back. When you shoot them, they'll shoot the flares into the sky and cause a distraction which will attract the attention of guards, uh, even on the beach. 
Now, that's probably going to be... I don't know how scripted that is, right? So I don't know if that will still work, if that will still be applicable in the elusive target. But it's just something to know about in case I, I need to use it in a pinch. So let's go ahead and just trigger that computer. I'm in. Hurry. Okay, I'm just gonna I'm skip that. jump down as soon as I can. Okay. Let's see if we can find that truck. I'm not going to know anything about what guards will be here, or their patrol routes. Um, I think you can kind of see in the video, as well as a picture I saw somewhere, that it's going to be more like cicada guards. Driftwood, here it is. Okay, so the explosives are right there. Let's see if we can get up right next to it. So it's like kind of just to the right of the boathouse. And when we shoot it. That happens. Which causes the guys on the beach to run toward the vehicle. But not those guys. call there. Yeah, these three guys will come. So then you can just go to the boat without getting accosted by these guys. So I think that's pretty much all I can really cover in this video. Uh, <laughs> pretty small, pretty straightforward. Um, that's it. See you guys next time.